Hi, my name is Nathan Briscoe. I'm a graduating senior, sport management major, and I'm from the islands of Jamaica. Hi, my name is Andre Collins. Um, I'm a senior um, with a focus on study in banking and finance. Hi, my name is Hanoi Darden, and I'm a senior majoring in accounting, and I am the student government president. Hi, my name is Bianca Govan. I am a graduating senior at Johnson C. Smith University, majoring in information systems engineering with a minor in criminology. I am currently the senior class president. Hello everyone, my name is Yolanda Babb. I am an elementary education major, hailing from Brooklyn, New York, and I am your 2012-2013 Ms. Johnson C. Smith University. Hi, I'm Kyra Shea Graham, a senior majoring in information systems engineering, and I'm your graduating class of 2013 salutatorian. Um, coming to JCSU was a last minute choice for me because I was going to attend another school. But then I just took the opportunity and basically, basically um, the coach was from Jamaica and I knew him from then. So I was like, I'm gonna grab this opportunity to get an education because I'll be the first one to be graduating from college out of my immediate and extended family. My yesterday was about um, coming to the US and trying to make the best of the opportunities coming from a third world country. Uh, and you know, I was a person who wanted to explore, wanted to get exposure to in every, at every level to, to excel in life. And I believe that, you know, John C. Smith would have been the best place for me to come to excel. Uh, my yesterday, when I first arrived at Smith, I knew that I was, I was always very ambitious, um, but I came with a purpose uh, to uh, being a first generation college student, I really wanted to make my family proud and do something for myself. Um, I came with a lot of motivation, a lot of ambition, but I still needed to find what my purpose was and my interest. Jensen C. Smith has played a big role in my life because I've came here, like I said before, with like time management wise, I would procrastinate a lot. And my professors and my academic success coach and my advisors, they helped me to be like, okay, well, Bianca, this is what you need to do, this is what you can get done. Because you're a bright girl, but you just need to know how to put things together to make sure you have everything executed properly. So in the beginning, it was hard to kind of uh, go into my new um, independent stage. So in the beginning, of course, freshman year, everyone has their slip ups. I partied a little too much than studying, and I ended up receiving a 2.8 GPA. That fall semester, my mom told me, if I do not come back with my grades raised, then I will not be coming back to Smith at all. So I made it my duty the next following semester to achieve a 3.8 GPA, which brought my uh, grade point average up. Um, I was pretty reserved. I was really trying to transition from, you know, moving away from my parents, being on my own in a big city. So it was. It wasn't too hard because I had, you know, close friends around, but it definitely was a big step that I decided to take, you know, with my mom not being around telling me what to do. So, but with the help of, you know, God and friends, I really came into my own. I had a great family upbringing with my department because they, they're like a family unit and they'll push you to the limit once you're a good student. And being a student athlete, it's a hard task, but I've worked hard and persistent and I've accomplished my goal of being graduating soon. Well, the experience, um, it was a very exciting experience. Um, I was able to network and build relationships with you know, professionals, meet great friends, and the academic aspect, I was able to um, adapt and learn new concepts and everything to help me succeed. So right now, um, my um, into intellectual level has increased a whole lot. Johnson C. Smith University has helped me grow tremendously. Um, I still have that same motivation and ambition as I did when I first entered, but the different faculty, staff, and students, they really helped me find my purpose. Um, you know, being a student leader has helped me grow tremendously. Uh, learning to work with different people, 
and learning how to deal with different issues and resolving them in a professional manner. And I really appreciate the relationships that I've built with faculty, staff, and students. Today I'm very more responsible, I'm very reliable, I like to get things done and I learn how to time manage my skills better. So now I know how to prioritize things that I need to get done and how to put it in order to be able to execute it successfully and efficient to all those who I'm going to render service to. Taking each day as a learning experience from my freshman year to now, I feel like I have really grown into the person that I would love to be in the future. When I was younger, well, coming in freshman year, it was more of a nonchalant, really passive attitude towards college because I still treated it as high school. But I started to realize, number one, I'm paying for this. And number two, this is my future that I'm trying to invest in. So why play games? My JCSU experience has been, one word, a blessing. Um, coming here, I was awarded a lot of opportunities that I would have never imagined having my freshman year getting you know a research internship and then that turning into a job the next semester with the city of Charlotte and then that's opening even more doors with more research and more job opportunities such as GE aviation and it's really prepared me you know professionally to succeed you know in the real world. Actually, um, I can proudly say I'll be going on to graduate school to pursue my master's, so that's the A plus for me. I'm accomplishing my dreams quicker than I expected, so that's even another plus, and I know my mom will be a proud individual. Well, my plan for the future, um, I already um, accepted the offer from a company I've been um, with for a while now um, as a financial analyst. Um, I plan on being there for a while um, as I grow professionally and I intend on pursuing my Masters of Science in Finance um, within two years time and eventually um, five years from now, five to ten years from now, I'd like to open my own credit union and be the CEO, CFO for, of a um, company. Uh, immediately after graduating, I'll be joining bb and with their Leadership Development Program in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and I plan to attend law school in the fall of 2014 and ultimately become an entertainment lawyer. My tomorrow, in very, very much thanks goes out to my academic success coach and my advisor, Dr. Chen. They have helped me apply for grad school and I got accepted to North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, where I will begin in the fall. 2013, mastering in computer science with a research focus in cybersecurity. And most importantly, I got a full ride scholarship. So after graduating from Johnson C. Smith University, I will continue to uh, pursue my education to get a MAT in general special education, hopefully at UNC Charlotte. Then after I achieve that, I would love to get my doctoral degree in student administration and leadership so that I can be able to become a junior high school principal. After graduation, I will start working with AT&T as a network design engineer through their NetDP program as a project manager. So that's really exciting because my long-term career goals is to be a project manager. And working for a global company such as AT&T is going to be a very rewarding experience. I did it the Smith way. 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 I did it the Smith way.